City leaders say getting rid of bad cops is hard to do thanks to the law and an agreement negotiated between the police union and the city. Eyewitness News reporter Mariah Medina talked to the police union president who says they don't have nearly as much power as claimed. And in most cases, the city gets the desired outcome. When an officer accused of wrongdoing is fired by the chief of police, they aren't immediately gone. Some appeal their firing through arbitration. It's when an independent judge of the facts comes in and decides whether the punishment fits the crime. And in some cases, like the case of Officer Tim Garcia, who repeatedly used racial slurs during the arrest of an African-American man in 2018, oh, the arbitrator okay, goes against the chief Just of police, stop. and the officer gets their job back. But in other cases, like that of Officer Matthew Luckhurst, who's accused of giving a homeless person a feces sandwich, they stay fired. But police say the law and their contract with the union, known as a collective bargaining agreement, make it hard to get rid of bad cops for good. Consequences for misconduct must be certain and, and they must be final. State law and collective bargaining contracts protect bad officers. San Antonio Police Union President Mike Kelly says the city gets its way the majority of the time. According to numbers provided by the police department over the last 10 years, of 24 officers who appealed their firings, less than half won their job back. And he shouldn't have come out and told everybody, oh, I can't fire bad cops in some hysteria to make it seem like everything was upside down, that his arms are behind his back, which is completely false. But the arbitration process can take several months, sometimes years. And if an officer wins their job back, the city in some cases stands to lose tens of thousands of dollars in back pay and benefits to the officer. But Halley says the union stands by the arbitration process, saying officers facing termination need an unbiased decider of the facts. Mariah Medina, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.